Hello. So in today's video, we are going to actually check out uh, a very important and uh, powerful uh, functionality of the API Gateway. We are going to actually see how to um, uh, see the logs or you know enable logs in your APIs, as well as uh, capture analytics uh, and important metrics of the APIs uh, as they are consumed in your live system. So to start, uh, I've actually uh, have the API Gateway uh, Administrator Console uh, enabled. Uh, I've accessed the sorry the uh, Administrator Console, um, and uh, if you have uh, followed my videos so far, you would have seen how to uh, set up the gateway on your Docker. So let's first of all log in with the uh, default administrator. Okay, so. I have uh, one of our APIs that we were uh, building in the previous videos. It's the My API. And uh, if you go to Postman, and uh, this is the API and this is the resource, if we access it, you can see that it returns still information of random cat facts. Now uh, I'll go back to the API. Now, in order to enable the logs on the API, on an active API, you edit it then you navigate to policies and uh, there are different uh, stages in the policy i'm going to actually select the traffic monitoring policy now you click on log invocation once you have enabled log invocation um, you can actually uh, choose other options to if you're interested in storing the headers the payload the response headers and the response payloads, you can tick them. Uh, keep in mind that as you enable these, um, this information is going to be stored in the internal elastic search, which can obviously have some uh, overhead on your system. So to start off, I'm just going to say uh, enable the log invocation and save the API. Uh, go to analytics and this is the place where actually you um, inspect the traffic that has come to the API. I'm going to choose last 30 minutes and say apply filter. So it should not have any information so far because we haven't actually uh, enabled uh, the logs. Now it has been enabled. You go back to Postman, fire the request, uh, let's say two times. Okay. We return back to the gateway. Now, once we inspect the logs, you can see there are two invocations and uh, it says consume app name is the application for which i have the uh, api key associated and therefore it's able to know that this is the application that's consumed and that is actually invoking the api and it says there are two invocations now if you expand it you can see that uh, there is no information about what is the payload or, or anything of that sort it has the bare minimal information to indicate what call was made to the downstream system how much time it took to execute and what was the response code. So if you keep firing, you can see more invocations over here. However, occasionally you would want to actually uh, see what request and what headers have actually passed through the um, invocation. So let's go back to the API. Let's edit it. This time, we go back directly to the log invocation policy. We say store request headers, store the request payload, uh, store the response headers and store the response payload. So uh, you could choose uh, what you want to actually store. And as you can see, the destination is the API gateway. So it actually stores information within the API gateway itself. You have other options as well if you want to send out the log information. But the simple option to see it in the analytics uh, is to enable it with API Gateway. Let's save it. Now the API is saved. We go back to Postman. Now I'll fire the API once and you can see the response is uh, in, in 1715, 1750. This is uh, some information on cats. Let's go back to the API. Uh, this time on the analytics, we'll pick up the last 15 minutes. As you can see, there are a few more invocations. This time, when you expand your invocation, 
you start to see more information so uh, as you can see um, the native http request payload is empty because it's a get request uh, there are no other interesting headers, but some of the headers that were passed as part of Postman are over here. Uh, you can see the Postman header. Uh, there's a payload that's come back. And in case there are any other interesting response headers, they are also actually printed. So uh, by this, actually, you get to see uh, what request and response goes back and forth between an API invocation and uh, keep in mind that um, this should be used with caution on your production systems or in live systems because in case the size of the request and response are huge they can have uh, uh, impact on your storage on the system therefore it's uh, always recommended uh, not to go ahead and activate the storage directly to the um, gateway you could consider uh, sending out the uh, log invocation feed to an external uh, destination so in in the this is currently 10.5 but in the 10.7 uh, or i think it's in the 10.11 in the 10.7 version there is an option to have custom destinations where you can choose to actually dispatch the uh, log invocation information to uh, splunk so that's uh, a good option. You could actually choose in a log invocation and actually send it out. Uh, so, so you could have one log invocation that's just going to the gateway with, uh, let's say, no uh, payloads and no headers. You could add in another log invocation. And here you could actually choose, let's say, maybe send it out to your uh, custom destination like it's in the in the new version uh, and, and you can just choose to maybe in that case enable you know uh, the request headers and the response headers and so on and so forth and maybe send it to a you know an elastic search or you know to some other destination and uh, save it so thereby actually the payload that gets uh, thereby the request that gets logged with the analytics or the internal gateway won't have a storage uh, issue uh, uh, and the other one that goes to the you know destination which is meant for log aggregation would actually have the uh, payloads and uh, headers so uh, this way you can actually uh, get more information about uh, what's happening with the request so i'm just going to turn off the elastic search because i don't have one over here i just save it back this will just keep the request payload and the response payload i put it back to save and you can keep firing uh, as many number of times as you want uh, right now the method doesn't support a post otherwise whatever you would send in the post request would uh, be logged in the gateway as well so let's just check uh, last time so uh, this is uh, uh, you know one of the quickest and one of the most um, convenient way of troubleshooting uh, uh, any uh, issues that you have in your live systems but always remember to you know uh, turn it back off because all of this information is actually stored on the elastic search so as you can see uh, this is how uh, we enable logs and you can get analytics information from the last tab. So behind the scenes, uh, this dashboard is provided from uh, Kibana and it actually pulls out the information from Elasticsearch. You can actually um, slice and get into more information over here, as well as you can navigate off to a global analytics and you could see details of what APIs are getting consumed uh, using a global analytics. You have more information over here and uh, you have a slightly different perspective over here by going directly to your application and saying okay for this application what all apis are attached to it uh, please show me the information in the last 12 hours and you can see that the api called is uh, my api uh, that's the name over here uh, and it's been called uh, for five times so these are different ways of seeing the same information uh, but obviously uh, based on your need you can actually uh, pick the relevant uh, analytics that you want if you know what what is the api of interest you could just directly go to the api and then navigate off to analytics if you just know which application is consuming it you can just directly go to analytics go to applications and filter out your application over here if you 
have no clue about what's happening on the system then you can just directly go to you know uh, your analytics and just look at the summary and from here you can start to you know um, drill down or drill out uh, to figure out what's going on with the uh, application so hope you like this video uh, if you want or like to get more information on similar uh, content or if you have any suggestions or any questions please feel free to uh, leave them in the comment section thank you for watching the video uh, have a nice holiday